This is The Negro Ninja. And I want to start this off by saying what I said on Facebook a few minutes ago. All right. I said, women have no say so in the eyes of Yahweh. Women say everything in the ways of society, the ways of the world. Many of the world's problems revolve around people doing the opposite of what Yahweh told them to do. Folks would rather blame God for everything wrong than to blame themselves for blasphemy and disobedience. People curse themselves. You cursed yourselves, niggas that want to look at this video and say that MGTOW and Ipmore is misogynistic. Fuck you, you cursed motherfucker. All right. And continuing on. Continuing on. Notice the power that these hoes have right now, you know. Oftentimes, you just see a hoe sitting there like, like, um, you know, her arms crossed. Let me see how, they, how them hoes be. There. And then with the legs crossed and stuff. And so what they would do is they just sit there like they're just waiting on you to bring them something. They're waiting on an offering. You know what I mean? Hoes are waiting for an offering. You know, you know, because oftentimes to break the ice, it involves the dude having to do the breaking the ice. You know, dudes have to be the one to offer a whole something. Oftentimes it's a compliment. Hey, how you doing? You look nice. Thank you. And that's if she decides to respond to that. That's how spoiled these hoes are. They have that much power. To the point where women are no longer helpmates. They consider themselves as a deity. But in reality, you know what a deity is. Deities like Kundalini, Lilith, um, what's that bitch name? Is it Shiva? Shiva. You know, and the deities are just basically demons anyway. So basically these hoes are like demons, bro. Hoes are like demons. Hoes require an offerance. You have to offer this whole something. Like I said, we initiate the relationship with a date, a gift, a gift of flowers. Here, put it. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> that's, that's what it is. Hoes require offerances. Hoes require sacrifice. You're going to make me your priority. I'm your priority. They want you to make them your priority when they got excuses every five minutes. Oh, I'm busy. Um, yeah, I had to do this. My family, and they love to use that family shit. My family is doing this, so I had to be with them. Sacrifice. Your friendship. Well, hold up, man. You notice that shit like when your homies get a bitch. You notice how differently they start acting and shit. They spend all the time around a bitch almost as like the bitch is the only person in their life and shit. You know what I mean? You stick by your homies. You don't you don't abandon the homies when you have a hoe. That's just ignorant. Matter of fact, you're gonna be right around the homie moping when that hoe dump your ass or do some fucked up ass shit. Bro, you know what that bitch did, bro? You know what I mean? That's what the homies do. So you sacrifice friendship for the bitch. You sacrifice lots of things for these hoes. You sacrifice... Well, oftentimes, some men even sacrifice the things they love for the bitch. They spend less time playing the games. They spend less time working on this particular project. They spend less time watching pornography. <laughs> oh, that's stupid. Because the pornography itself is like a sacrifice. You know what I mean? As a matter of fact, since we on this topic... I'm not going to lie to y'all, nigga. On my Facebook, I got a lot of sluts, nigga. That's what i just been doing, adding sluts for no reason, nigga. Some of these women will even go as far as to say, here, y'all, here's a picture of me. Can you tribute the picture? And a tribute is when a dude, which I don't know who is stupid enough to do this, um, they'll print off the picture and they'll ejaculate on the picture and then they'll, they'll take a picture of it and send it to her just to show she did it. You know what I mean? 
I'm like, no, just hold it. Not think about this. This bitch says, send me a tribute, a tribute, and she don't even have the respect to send him a picture of her bent over or nothing. Ain't that disrespectful? And that just goes to show you how much of a demon these hoes are. They're just like the demons. Ishtar. You know. Offer a sacrifice. Um, and this is very big in a black community. We, you know, we us black MGTOWs and, you know, Ipmore. I guess Ipmore can only be black anyway. I always use the example in the in the black community of how the, they get the thugs, Pookie and Ray Ray, you know, to kill this particular guy they set up or something. You know, it requires sacrifice. Women are just very terrible creatures, bro. Sacrifice. Matter of fact, this whole thing should possibly be about sacrifice because that's what demons is all about. Blood sacrifice is just like the Illuminati, bro. Blood sacrifice. You sacrifice somebody you know in hopes to move up in this world, especially in entertainment. You're making more money. Everything is going by well as long as you keep bringing these sacrifices in. And that's what it is with the whole. Oftentimes, niggas, when they get married, they make the biggest sacrifice. Because you already know what time it is with a divorce. Then, you know, they sacrifice their masculinity even more than they did when they was dating the hoe. Because the hoe is in charge now. Um, the wedding ring has to cost... How, how much does it have to cost? Uh, about three times your paycheck or something. That's a lot of damn money. That's a lot of saving up. Did they say is it three times your paycheck or three months worth of your paycheck? I cannot remember, but who whoever know that answer, put it in the comments. But it costs a lot of money, and that's just for the engagement ring too. And that's not really counting the wedding ring, so you got to do it twice. Um, that's a lot of shit. Lots of sacrifice. Oftentimes, niggas lose themselves in the relationship. You know, oftentimes people are like, hey, bro, you're acting a little different since you went with this bitch here. What's going on? Oh, and it's usually something to do with losing some testosterone with how he be acting. They get softer. Oh, no, man, not all women like that, you know. No, man, not all women, man. This particular one is giving me some pussy, so I can't say that. Well, she giving me the pussy. That's really what it's boiling down to. I'm getting some pussy, so I can't really be as hard on women as I usually am. You know what I mean? Can't be as hard on them because I'm usually... I mean, that's the way I usually am. And that's essentially what it is with niggas that try to challenge the shit that we talk about. Notice how they like to use the insult. Y'all got the driest dicks in the universe. A little lame ass shit like that. Which proves that this motherfucker pretty much looks at pussy as salvation. That's what all these gods are. These so-called gods. They are not Elohim. All these different Buddha shit and all that shit. It's just demons, bro. It's just like different religions. Different bitches for different niggas. It's different religions because they worship these hoes. They're demons. They're just like the demons. Think about the demons. What do the demons require? Like I said, they require an oath. Sound like marriage, doesn't it? You know, they require an offering. Sounds like a wedding ring, doesn't it? Sounds like flowers, doesn't it? Sounds like paying for a date, doesn't it? You know what I mean? So what did I say? An oath, an offering. All right, let's see what the sacrifice is. You know, sacrifice in many cases is going to involve like pricking your hand, signing your name in blood, killing some some living thing. You know how women do it. You need to do this. I'm, you know, they set the niggas up to die. However, different races do that shit differently. It just depends. I ain't finna say they do it differently, but, you know, they get into different shit. So, they they do it in a different way. Um, sacrifice the time you have with your boys. Sacrifice the time you have with your family. She want most of the time you spent to her. Oftentimes, um... The woman will even try to turn you against the family. You know, like I said in another video. There's a reason why women want to ask who you live with. 
And it don't matter if you're paying all the bills or not. If the word mama comes up in any sentence, uh uh-uh. There's a reason for that. The whole wants you completely. She wants your life completely. You know, I don't care. Like, so if you is paying all the bills, but your mama's there with you, she's going to say, you're living with your mama. You know why? Because she has no way to come in to, um, to possess you like how a demon would do. You know, because women are very suggestive. They try to let you think you are in control. The ones that act submissive, they're the ones you really got to watch. When they really suggesting and they manipulating you with suggestions and all this stuff, they in control. So that's a sacrifice. You sacrifice your, your time with your buddies, your time with the family and all that stuff. In many cases, the demon is the same way. Same way with these demons. You know, lots of niggas that's satanic and all that stuff. Spend lots of time secluded for the wrong reasons. They like the dark. They like coldness. All that type of shit. Seclusion. I like to be in the shade. You know, so an offering. Hey, how you, you're cute. You look nice in that, you know. The oath. Will you marry me? We have a title now. This is wifey. That's bae. Um, what else did I have? What else did I say? Sacrifice, you know, time and family. Then the demon is just um, about the sinister. You can say sacrifice, say blood, sacrifice, so a cat or something, however they do it. With the bitch, you finna sacrifice time with your family and friends and even maybe even a real nigga. You finna kill somebody for a hope. And you know, that's just basically what they do. And people do all that just to get something that they should have had in the first place. You should be getting pussy. You know what I mean? A lot of dudes do half of this stuff hopping through hoops to get the pussy when the pussy is to, is promised to you as a man. You're supposed to just be able to walk up to a chick and just say, bitch, you're mine. That's what real marriage is. You fuck a woman, you married her. And she's supposed to be around you and then you fuck another chick and you just collect bitches after you stick your dick in them. That's just what it is. It's like Pokemon, you know. You like you, you Pokemon battle. You think about how the Pokemon battle is, you know. <laughs> you um you defeat that Pokemon in battle and you capture it. You beat the pussy up and you capture the bitch. Okay. Um all right. So like I said, you're doing all these sacrifices for shit you should have. Many times people sacrifice it to the demon to be where they want to be in life. You got talent, but you have to make a sacrifice to sell a million records. When your shit sounds good enough, you're supposed to be selling all that by itself. You see what I'm talking about? Little bullshit like that. But here's the thing, though. See, when women are funny, because when you're sacrificing to a woman you, and you sacrifice to a demon, it's just two different things. It's, it's a little different. It's the same process, but it's different. See, you sacrifice to the demon, you lose your soul, but you're going to get a couple of million dollars or whatever. Now, you sacrifice to the bitch, now you're going to lose your soul, but guess what? You might get the pussy. So you sacrificing for some shit that might happen. Like, yeah, this was good, though, but... Bye. Maybe you're lucky if you even get a buy. Okay, thank you. That's fucked up. What you gonna tell Jesus when you see him? Yeah, Jesus, I was just trying to get some pussy. Oh, really? Okay. Press a button. Phew! Ah! And then while you fall, your balls hurt because you got blue balls. Oh, ouch! Ouch! You know what I mean? Women are like demons itself. <laughs> you sacrifice just in hopes of some shit happening. With a demon, you sacrifice just for a little bit of something that you're supposed to already have. So who's more evil in this situation? You're like, bitch, you already took my soul. Women want more than just your soul. Women want your existence. They want more than just your soul. Them hoes want your existence, bro. 
and they still keep taking it. They take your semen. They take everything they can from you. Them hoes is just like a black hole or something. Because you know these bitches are void with feelings. Lots of them are just void. And I can see why somebody said that women don't have a soul. Because you... Like when, when you notice this type of shit about most women you see... It's easy to believe that there are no decent bitches out there. And, you know, it is some decent bitches out there. But like I said, it's enough of holes that are void. There's too many of them to even care about the exception. So, you can actually say none of them holes got a soul. Because, you know, you're not going to be looking at this 1%. That's too much digging. You just got to wait You wait for that shit to come. Then you talk that shit. And you're still going to be talking shit. Because you're still going to keep dealing with it. Whether you're trying to fuck these hoes or not. And this has been the Negro Ninja bringing you your Negro message for today. Negro out.